Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, welcome back to Call of Duty Mobile. And after obviously showcasing the Maddox Assault Rifle within COD Mobile, the latest weapon that's been introduced into the game. And obviously we played on the Diesel multiplayer map. Today we're jumping back into Diesel. But... I've unlocked all the camos for this particular weapon. Let's see, it says I went the extra mile, I grinded out this weapon, and now I'm going to showcase my gold best class setup for this particular weapon. I see, it says this build I'm about to show you in today's video is the build that I've been absolutely slain with, and it's been a lot of fun, man. But look at this beautiful weapon. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. Look at it. In the gold camo. So obviously for the attachments and stuff I've been using for this weapon, I've gone with some Enemy interesting attack. setups. I felt like when I was looking for the gunsmith and experimenting with the attachments, there was quite a few builds I could potentially build um, on this weapon. And Asita's, this particular build I'm using now is more of a in-your-face sort of like running gun sort of playstyle build, which is obviously my sort of playstyle. But I will be experimenting more with the attachments a little bit more. And showcase some more builds with this weapon in the future videos. Maybe for a Damascus best class setup or something. If that's something you would like to see, let me know down below in the comment section. But since it's for the attachments, obviously I will be showcasing at the end of this particular game um, all the attachments I've used on this weapon within the gunsmith. But for the attachments though, if you want to know what I've been using, on the barrel I've been using the Echo Fire mod because I feel like it helps a lot with the additional fire rate. Like, you, this gun is honestly deadly and I recommend that you do use it, especially with this barrel attachment. I've got nothing on the optics because as I mentioned before on my previous video that the optics for this particular weapon are really good. Like, I don't feel like it needs a sight for it. Only if, like, say you're going for the long-range engagements and stuff, say if you're playing on maps like Crossing or anything like that, then obviously, you know, put yourself a scope on. But ideally, for these sort of style maps, like for the small to medium-sized maps like this or Standoff or Raid or anything like that, I feel like the Iron Sights, you know, you go to this, unless, of course, you prefer a sight. Um, obviously, on the stock, I've gone with the Agile stock. On the perk section, I was going to put Sleight of Hand or Long Shot, but then I thought to myself, you know what? It's got a decent reload. It doesn't need the additional damage. Because obviously that's what the Echo Fire mod's for. So I've left the first slot empty. And then on the laser, I've gone with the Aim Assist laser. And then on my rear grip, I've gone with the Sturdy grip. And then on the ammunition, I've gone with the Fast Extended Mag A. They are the attachments I've put on this weapon. And obviously I will leave a pinned comment in the comment section of all the attachments I've used on this particular build, in case you guys want to see them. So like I said, after this particular game, we'll obviously jump into the gunsmith and I'll showcase all the attachments I'm using on this weapon within the gunsmith so you can see exactly where I've got on this weapon. So you can just literally copy it for yourself if you want to experiment with this build for yourself. But honestly, if these sort of builds do help you, and not whether you're using it for ranked or just casual multiplayer, or just need a good build to run with for this weapon, just so you can have a couple of chill games, then let me know down below in the comment section if this build has helped you out. And I'll get around to making even more of these best class setup videos in the future. Because that's what these videos are all about. It's about showcasing to you all the sort of builds that I use to help you guys if it is that you're struggling for a build or want to know what a really good like run and gun sort of good build for that particular weapon to use within multiplayer. So if you need a good build, you come to the right place and I'll help you guys out the best I possibly can. Okay? Nice. There we go, boys. Got the nuki nuke. Let's drop this one, boys. Friendly nuke has been launched. Repeat. Friendly nuke, nuke has been launched. This gun is just a beauty. Absolute beauty. It's going to be fun as well when you got to try and grind up the diamond coming for it. It's going to be a grind and a half. Honestly, I think it looks really good with the gold camo on it. I've tried like the variant you get from... Um, there's a free variant you can unlock with a code for the Maddox as well. And um, I've seen... Hang on. I've seen what it looks like with the... 
Oh, I'm gone. Anyways, oh, where was I? Oh, yeah. I've seen the, the variant that you can get for the Maddox with the um, gold panel on as well. It's pretty good with that variant. I think it's the variant from the Battle Pass as well. But, to be honest... I prefer I prefer the original build to the weapon. Unless they get some like crazy variants in the future. Ready to champ. Like there. Trying to focus on getting the my um, crossbows done as well at the same time. Might as well, boys. Sneaky long range shot. Like I said, this map is really good for long range. Especially if you're using things like the crossbow. I mean, I could just literally stand here and just like obliterate people. You know what I mean? Come on, keep coming, keep it coming. Turn it down. <laughs> there we go. Keep Got my ammo. Winning this keep going. I do need to try and like drop a nuke with just the crossbow though at some point. I just, like, it's got to be one of my go-to things I need to do at some point. I feel like it's one of the only weapons that and the uh, the D13 sector. I feel like um, it's the only two weapons I feel like I haven't done new video with yet. I don't think so. Anyway, there could be more weapons, but I feel like it's only them too. Unless you guys know otherwise. If there is any other weapons you haven't seen me drop a nuke with, let me know down below in the comment section. Nice. I'll just stand here if I have to. Friendly napalm deployed. UAV online. Big shot up, boys. I didn't even know where he was, to be honest. Right. Um... Oh, it's just about shooting with the crossbow there. Fair play. But that, my friends, is a nice, easy nuki nuke with this particular weapon. See, to that, my character looks really fat as well. Compared to the other operators in the game, like, they're all thin, but my character's, like, you know, a bit chunky. Yeah. Hey, man. Absolutely irritating me. Don't get me wrong, I love wearing hats and stuff, but I find sometimes the hair irritates me when I'm wearing a hat for so long. But yeah, so far for this season, though, I think this has been a pretty good season for COD Mobile. I'm looking forward to future seasons, seeing what new maps and modes and guns we're going to be getting. There's a rumour that next season is going to be a sniper rifle. And um, we're going to be getting, I think it's the HDR or something, from uh, Modern Warfare 2019, which, to be honest, I'm down for another sniper. Just another day. Um, but see, but I would like to see, like, even more old-school weapons come to the game at some point. Some new camos there for the crossbow as well. Helps towards the progression for that weapon. You know what I mean? There's quite a few more camos I still need to get. But to be honest, that'll be a future gameplay you're going to be seeing soon. When I'm going to go for a nuke with it. And trying to get the gold camo unlocked for it. Right. So as you can see guys, these are the attachments I've got on the Maddox. Like I mentioned throughout the video. And there also will be a pinned comment down below in the comments in the comment section. Of all these attachments. On the barrel, I've got the Echo Fire mod. I've got nothing on the optic. On the stock, I've got the agile stock. On the perk section, I've got nothing there. On the laser, I've got the aim assist laser. On the rear grip, I've got the sturdy grip. And finally, on the ammunition, I've got the fast extended mag A. If you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new. I'd really, really appreciate it. Let me know if this build helps you out within multiplayer or ranked or battle royale or even in zombies. Let me know. If it helps you out, I would really appreciate it if you could let me know. And with that being said, I'll catch you all again next time.